everybody. Welcome to day one of my new Inktober series. This is a daily drawing prompt challenge and my theme this year is fairy tales. Each day is centered around a different fairy tale and I'll be discussing those while you watch. Now, Little Red Riding Hood is called such because her grandmother famously gave her a red riding hood of red velvet and she wore it non-stop as small children are wont to do. On one particular day, Little Red was tasked with taking a care package to her grandmother, who was ailing. Now, Red is specifically told not to wander off the path, and she promises she won't. No sooner does she step into the woods than a wolf meets her and decides he wants her for dinner. The implication here of predators is not hard to miss. He either persuades her to dally picking flowers, or he uses his cunning to arrive at grandmother's house before Little Red and is let in under the guise of being Little Red. He then swallows Grandmother, puts on her cap and nightgown, and lays down to wait. Red arrives, and there is the famous, My, what a big insert feature you have. The wolf says that these are all the better to see, hug, or hear her with, but he eventually grows tired of the little girl's rude commentary and eats her up too. A passing huntsman ends up saving them, and either kills the wolf right there, or uses nearby scissors to slice open his belly and lets Little Red and Grandmother spring out unharmed. In this latter version, the wolf is then filled with heavy stones, which make him so thirsty upon waking that he makes his way to the river for a drink, only to fall in and drown. Now, fairy tales are often metaphors for young girls to avoid straying from the straight and narrow, to avoid compromising their innocence, or they are object lessons to young children that parents know best and should be obeyed. This one in particular strikes a few chords of a coming-of-age story. The red of her cap has been compared to getting her first period. The wolf is clearly a predator, and she is saved by a good man, which can either be a father or guidance figure, or a good marriage. She also goes on to see the error of her ways and never stray again. This is number 333 in the Arne Thompson Uther classification system, which I will be frequently referencing over the next 30 days. Numbers 300 through 399 fall under Tales of Magic in the subcategory of Supernatural Adversaries. That's all for today, guys. Please check out the link to my Patreon to access work and project albums, some real-time videos, as well as a compilation of my kitten interrupting my projects to step in my paint. Thanks so much, guys. See you tomorrow.